So here we go. Here's my Glogster. Like I said, there were two things I considered when I created my Glogster. And number one on my mind was that I wanted to sneak in some information about me and what I do as a media specialist. Like I said, this is only my second year in the district and I really wanted to clear up any misconceptions about what I do. I didn't, I wanted to discard just a librarian type thing. I really wanted to emphasize too that that tech technology portion is a huge part of my job as well. So similar to the way I puree vegetables and sneak them into my kids diets, I felt like that's what I was doing with this Glogster. And number two, I wanted to create a rich example for teachers and students. And what I mean with that is I wanted to have a good variety of each facet available to Glogster users. So let's talk a little bit about these. The title, Why Do We Still Need Trained Media Specialists? I have examples for each and I also have text boxes and I wanted to talk a little bit about that. When I do training, I try to explain to people that you can have as much text as you want. That yes, this quote fits perfectly in this text box. However, you don't have to be limited based on the size of the box because all you have to do is type in your content when you go to preview to go see the page. If there's too much information for the box, there will actually be this scroll feature on the far right side of the box and you scroll down and you can read all the content. So the days of the old school poster boards where kids would have a lot of content, very textual, and it looks a little boring and dry and you know I don't really want to read it, that isn't a problem with Glogster. So I really think that's a pro for sure. So here Anytime you hover over something and you see this pink line, essentially that means that there is a web link. So here, check out my Prezi and what happens when I click on it? You got it. It goes directly to that link. So I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later. Get out of there. Next, here is the audio feature and I hope it doesn't do any echoing here. Welcome to my blog. I hope after viewing it, you will gain a deeper appreciation of what media centers offer to a school community. Oh, it's painful to listen to myself speak, especially on recording. So we're not going to listen to much of that. But what I I really try to point out is that it's super duper easy to upload audio. All you need is a microphone. You speak into it. It's you use the software that. Glogster provides and voila, there you go, you've got audio. Here's an example of my Wordle with literacy concepts. Yes, it takes you to Wordle. Um, the next thing right here, this play button. A lot of people will take the, the first initial slide of their slideshow or their video and actually put it on the page. Unfortunately for me, I didn't have that much room and so I wanted to not have it so cluttered. So I just placed the button on there. You click and out goes, you go out to the video. The next thing I wanted to show is that on this page that I use, it's a constant reminder of, yes, I've got more materials. Here are my Glockster lesson plans. And I really think it's important that I try to help support the teachers in all ways. And let's face it, they're in the trenches. It's hard to try new things because you're just trying to get through your day and, and do all the things you're already doing and doing well. So what I do is I come up with lesson plans and so if you click on this it's going to take you to the, my Microsoft Word document where it has oodles and oodles of lesson plan ideas that really I update as soon as people give me new ideas because you know I don't create all these ideas well anyway it did go to it although 
I have a two screen system so you can't see it. Next, I really wanted to make sure on my Glogster page I included my name, Winnie Milner, Warren County Career Center, because I think that this is collaborative. I really love seeing what other librarians do, other media specialists do, and so I encourage people to get a hold of me. And I am just dying to know what you're going to do on your own page. I, I find it fascinating and um, would love to collaborate. So I hope you found this helpful and I encourage you to contact me. I'd love to know what ideas you have. Maybe I can piggyback on some of those and have a great day.